Good morning. Happy Monday. Shall I catch up from the weekend a little bit? Oh my goodness. Mommy. So Chad's family was here and we had the best time. Hey, silly girl. Uh, Top Golf was red so much fun. Um, Kennedy has been playing golf in the garage with Chad for a while now. And she's actually like really good for a little five-year-old. It was so cute. She beat me. <laughs> um, so there's that, but. We had the best time. Oh, and I had a dirty Dr. Pepper. Um, everyone was ordering cocktails, and then on the menu it said dirty Dr. Pepper, but it was like it was like a mocktail. Um, Mommy. So I was like, how can we add? Pretty. Good job. Oh, beautiful. I'm like, how can we make this a cocktail? So Mommy, it's all for me. So, some lipstick. Look, it's around. It's okay. You look beautiful. It's Dr. Pepper some sort of cream, it was coconut cream, and it was like creamy and delicious, and then we added like a double shot of vodka to it, it was like a really big drink. Um, it was delicious. I need to figure out how to make my own Dirty Dr. Peppers because I think like by the pool this summer, it's gonna be a really good drink. I love Dr. Pepper anyway. Um, they brought the girls all kinds of art stuff, and. Oh no. Mom, look how pink this cute. Oh my goodness, that cute thing is so pink. One thing about my girls is they love art. Like, love art. So, um, they made art and played Barbies. It was just like the best little family weekend. We had some amazing food. And Here, so, one. so thankful Mom, I'm for time. Please. All right, this is better. I had you so low on my vanity, so I moved you up a little bit. You might have seen it on my TikTok or my stories, but I cleaned out our laundry room this weekend. I had been waiting until, like I wanna wallpaper it. So in my mind, I was just waiting until we wallpapered it or was prepping to wallpaper it to actually clean it out. And I thought, okay, I'm on a roll. We're like cleaning out everything. So we're just gonna go for it. And it feels so good in there now. <laughs> like, Mommy. why did I not do this forever ago? What are these? Those are little makeup removers. Please don't touch them, okay? They feel smooth right when you do this. They do feel, oh, well, that's the glass, honey. But it feels so nice and you can like walk in there now and it's organized and it's not pretty. I mean, it will be pretty. Um, the people that lived here before us had a bunch of like clothing racks and things drilled into the wall, but they took them. So there's a bunch of holes <laughs> that have been patched. Not so great in the laundry room. And so I think I just avoid that room because I don't love it. Um, I don't love going in there because the holes bother me, but I didn't want to do anything until I was ready Mama. to fix the walls. Mama. Okay, let's throw that away, please. But it is what it is. I will get to the walls eventually. Um, I'm gonna use my friend Evelyn Hansen's wallpaper. Her line is stunning. This is actually an Evelyn Hansen mug. Little Winnie. Um, so she does all kinds of beautiful watercolor artwork and her wallpapers and fabrics are just stunning. Um, one thing that I don't want to do is a lot of our house is really creamy. It's not like my style tends to lean towards like the bright white. So hold on. I got distracted. Um, when I think about my personal style, like for our home, I think about like the bright whites, like really grand millennial blue and white. But when we moved in, Everything in here is very cream and beige, and I actually really love it. Hi. So I want to work with those colors, not against them. Um, and a lot of her prints are very grand millennial, like bright white. So I've just got to figure out which one I'm going to use, but they're all so, so beautiful. But this is your sign. If you are waiting, to do an organizational project, to, to do something else, just go ahead and organize because I'm like, it would have felt so much better 
the last two years had I just done it and oh, not been so concerned about waiting. Beautiful. This Hourglass palette has gotten so much use since I got her back in October. I think it was October or November. Some. You want some? Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Jewel colors um, from Sephora. How do I, I grab this? Them. So we have like pinks and purples and a highlighter and this bronzer is just beautiful. And it really just, it's so pretty. So pretty. Got some emails to send today. Um, I don't know if I've shared this, but I work for a social media management agency. Um, and I've got a couple of different clients that I work with and my agency signed a new client. So hopefully I will get to start working on a new account. And, um, it's always so fun to me to meet the clients and kind of learn their voice and their point of view and what content they want to make and how I can make content to really help their business shine. Um, I got into this because I love to be creative and I was available <clears throat> and I was available when my girls were little and I, I made content around myself because I was here and they were here and was just sharing what we were doing and where we were going. I love it so much, but I also love being able to create content for businesses and tell their brand story. So I don't know if I've shared that before, but that's what I do behind my computer all day. This eyeliner, so splurgy, but truly, truly the best. I don't know if I can do this on my phone. We are bringing the Friday night vibes to our Monday. That's, they're not super even. Let's see if we can save with some mascara. Because this is a lot of energy for a Monday morning, but maybe that's all we need. Excuse me. I love you, baby. you with the giant wing. I was trying to say that last fall, I have been looking at this eyeliner for forever. Um, but I didn't want to spend the money on it because I feel like it's just ridiculous to spend that much money on an eyeliner so i went and tried so many less expensive eyeliner. like I, I probably spent more money on drugstore eyeliners than if i had just bought that to begin with testing them out trying to find one that was just as good and here to tell you there is not one that compares to tom ford even a little bit so i will link it below um it's usually available in the Sephora sale, so we'll keep an eye out on that because that is the best time to get them for sure. But it just, it's just, it's, it's elite. That's the best word for it. It is an elite eyeliner. I have no idea what I'm gonna wear today. It's still kind of rainy and dreary outside. Yesterday was miserable. I have never seen so much rain, like not a storm. It just rained all day long. Um, and it, it still all day? did rain all day. And it's still really dreary out there. But I'm still feeling like the cozy vibes from the rain yesterday. figure it out and get back to you. I haven't tried a lot of lip oils. This is really the only one I tried and I love it. But it is a little sticky. I think that I prefer the Tower 28 lip jelly because it's not as sticky, but it is really pretty. I just washed our sheets and pulled them out of the dryer. I am so cold and they're so warm. I just want to like just want to crawl into them. It's going to take like everything in me to not make up the bed and then crawl in it because I'm so cold. Like, oh, they just feel so good.
Good morning. Uh, Pilates last night was so good. Winnie, what do you hear? <laughs> she hears something. Um, I'm Chad and I went for a walk this morning and I had no intention of showering, getting ready today. I just wanted to be gross. And I was like, I'll take an everything shower tonight or something. But Colin's been complaining about her ears. So we've got to go to the doctor and I don't want to go to the doctor gross. So I got to go shower really fast. But um, Pilates was really good. And it also really inspired me to look up workouts on YouTube that, you know, it might take 15, 20 minutes that maybe I can do during the day. We're going to try. I just moving my body made me realize how much I missed it. So, um, I'm going to keep working on that because it's important. Like I take care of everyone else, but I need to take care of myself. And I always put myself down on the list, but we're moving her up in 2024. Shout out to everyone that does a three point turn to get out of your garage and drive up your driveway instead of backing up your driveway. I can do it, but our driveway is rather steep and I don't like to do it because I don't like backing out into the traffic of our neighborhood. So I will take my little time and turn around, do a three point turn in my driveway to drive up the hill. Chad, on the other hand, will back down the driveway and then successfully back into my garage space for me in like one fail swoop. I have no idea how he does it. It's like some sort of Batman superpower or something because I cannot do that. I have all the sensors, I have all the cameras, I have all the beeping, but I am not about to back down the driveway and then like into the parking garage spot in one fell swoop. But let me tell you, that is a very attractive quality. I, I love it when he does it. And sometimes just to poke fun at me, because I also love a good backwards hat, he will turn his hat around backwards, do the arm thing, and then like back down the driveway. And I'm like, what, seven, eight years of marriage, two kids, and you still give me all the butterflies. So maybe I'm thankful that sometimes you have to back down the driveway. And also, is there anything better then getting into your car after he has backed my car in and all I have to do is pull out. Like that is, that is such a love language that he will back my car in so that I don't have to do it. That and getting gas. I, I don't like getting gas. They do it, but I don't love pumping gas. So a backed in car with a full tank of gas, that, do that with like a bag of lint chocolates in the passenger seat perfect valentine's day present perfect valentine's day present so i'm getting colin and she has an appointment this afternoon because her ears have been bothering her um and they're not all the time it's just off and on so i just want to make sure she doesn't have an ear infection because my girls are really prone to ear infections so um we're just gonna go get her checked out and make sure everything's good um I need her to sleep in her own bed. We've been sleeping on the couch. When the girls don't feel well, they sleep on the couch and I sleep on the couch with them because usually they're coughing and whatnot and being more propped up on the sofa is more comfortable than laying down. And like, it doesn't matter how I put the pillows. Propping up on your pillows in your bed is not the same as being propped up on the sofa. They just, they just breathe better. I don't, I don't make the rules, but that's what they are, so. Mama is ready to sleep in her own bed again. Um, but we did get some new pillows about two weeks ago and I have been taking my pillow to sit or to sleep on the couch with my bed pillow, which I don't usually do, but I've been doing that recently and it has helped tremendously. Um, anyway, hopefully it's something we can easily fix. We can all get back to sleeping in our beds because Chocolate. You want a chocolate one? Okay. Do you want anything? Okay, so we're excited. Can I help you? Uh, hi, can I have um, a grande hazelnut oat milk shake and espresso, please? Sure. Anything else? What kind of cake pops do you have? We've got a, a birthday chocolate cookies and cream or peppermint brownie. What you want, baby? Peppermint brownie. Do you like peppermint? Are you sure? All right, let's do a peppermint brownie, please. 
Do you love going on hot girl walks with me? Yes. Do you love it when I join you on your walk and annoy you? Yes. <laughs> so yesterday we changed the light bulbs in here, um, specifically these can lights, and I thought that the lighting was fine before, but it looks so good now. I wish I had taken a before because this after is just so good. These are... Um, Warm white is the color. We've gone through so many different colors and shades of light bulbs. We had one that we replaced our chandelier and I swear you could see our house from outer space. So the white, or excuse me, warm white is where it's at. So we need to do these next in warm white, but these just might be the shades because the light coming down looks pretty similar, but the shades are kind of cream. Um, but yeah, this is just a little home project and now we have like 15 more that we, I'm like, we need to replace all of them. I want all of our can lights to be this. Not that I turn them on very often in other rooms because I like lamp lights, but these are really good. Yeah. <laughs> Having people over tomorrow for the Super Bowl and I'm making homemade pretzels. And I love them so much. So this is my favorite measuring cup. I got it from Target and I love it. I love how it holds. You can put it in the microwave. But I have somehow gotten all of the measurements off in like the last six months that I've had it. So I have to pre-measure, but I love the size. I am finishing up my list for tomorrow, trying to get everything ready when I still need to make or bake. Um, so that I don't forget anything. And then I have everything labeled with what snacks are going where. Um, I just wanna make sure I don't forget anything because we have lots of yummy snacks. Um, so I guess you'll see that next week because it's on Sunday. But I'll show you all the prep. The pretzel bites. I'm gonna make pigs in a blanket tomorrow. I need to add that to my list. Nuggets, uh, mozzarella sticks, we've got salsa, two different types of queso and then a whole tray of like taquitos and potato skins and all kinds of fun air fried goodies. Is it even party prep if you're not eating cookie dough and <laughs> licking the batter? I won't tell if you don't tell. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen this in my stories, but I took the girls to Bath and Body Works today to um, pick out some new hand sanitizer because they keep the little pocket ones on their book bags. And Kennedy picked up like an aromatherapy one and she smelled it and very loudly said, Mom, this one smells like your hair when it's really greasy. <laughs> my hair's not greasy. It's rosemary oil. <laughs> So then I felt like I had to very loudly like say that it was not greasy, that it was rosemary oil. Anyway, I do think it's working. Um, and I usually do it on Sundays, but we're busy tomorrow. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it tonight and take off my little ring that I just got in. It's Anna Luisa. And this like first finger ring is having me feel very fancy. Like I feel like I need really long nails to go with my first finger ring, but the dryer. It's like on the other side of this wall <laughs> and it is so loud. Um, and then this is what I put on the ends. It is just a deep conditioner from Amazon. I initially got it um, two summers ago because the girl's hair were, was getting so tangled in the pool. So I take it with me to the pool and after we're done swimming, I put it in their hair and like brush it through while they're drying off. And then that makes 
bath time so much easier when we get home. But it's also really good as a good deep conditioner mask for the ends of your hair on hair mask day. Speaking of moisturizing, I just got this in from Stridectin. Um, I've also already <laughs> posted about this one on my Instagram, I believe, but it is the hydration multiplier. Uh, it's a hyalur hyaluronic acid serum and it's got two different chambers in here. And then when you pump it out, you mix them together and you use it at night and you can use it under your moisturizer in the morning. And I don't love a lot of stuff under makeup but I have worn this under makeup and it you can't tell it just feels amazing so I put it on under my nighttime moisturizer but so far I'm really loving it and I just feel like my skin is actually feeling really hydrated and it's still so dry here so I know the humidity is coming and in like six weeks I'm gonna be dying from all of the humidity but for right now it's dry and this is my favorite nighttime moisturizer. It's also from Stribectin. Um, it's their SD Advanced. Ooh, it's spilling rosemary oil. I did. <laughs> it's their anti-wrinkle um, intensive moisturizer. This is too strong for me in the daytime, like, or under makeup. Um, if I'm not wearing makeup, it's fine. But if I'm gonna <laughs> put like foundation and concealer on, this is way too thick. But for bed, a nice glazed donut moment. I'm totally here for it. Don't forget your neck <laughs> and the backs of your hands. All right, I have some more prep to do in the kitchen before tomorrow. We've got a big day. Hopefully the girls sleep through the night. Thank you for being here for week three of my vlog. I can't believe it's been three weeks already. Um, I'm having a lot of fun and more of you keep coming every day, which is amazing. So. See you next week.